Welcome to Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. I'm Kurt, and today we're gonna to take a look at the new basic camping hammock. Now, generally, I like to do these videos outside, but it is so ridiculously humid out. I tried to do this video yesterday out at the local park, and I was drenched just setting everything up. So, in the shop it is today. I've got the, the photo backdrop up just to make it easier to see everything. Um, but in this video, I'm going to go over the, the hammock itself, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about it, um, who it's geared for, and some other uh, thoughts about it, and why it might be right for you. I'll do that at the end of the video. Down in the description, there will be um, timestamps so that you can skip through to different parts. If you want to just see something in particular, go down there and check that out. Um, so, first of all, we'll just get right into the specs. The basic camping hammock is 11 feet long. It's 58 inches wide, so it's a single wide hammock. It's made from 1.9 ounce ripstop nylon, giving it a weight rating of 350 pounds. It's got a noceum bug net that's got one sided double pull zipper. It's got uh, an included pocket on the inside, and it comes with a suspension. So these are the straps that come with it. Um, it's a cinch buckle suspension. These are two 12 foot long tree straps, so you're covered. All of that is $70. Everything you need to get your hammock off the ground and camping, $70. Um, I've already got uh, straps set up, so I'm not gonna pull those out. So like all the hammocks I make, they come with this style of a stuff sack. Now for the basic camping hammock, I'm making the stuff sack a little bigger so it's not so hard to cram everything in there. Um, it's, there's a lot of extra space and this will still pack down pretty small. Um, but it does have your normal drawstring at one end so you can open it up. But at the bottom end, there's this slot. And this allows you to easily access the cinch buckle suspension. Um, this means that you can set this hammock up and never have to let the hammock touch the ground. Um, I always use this end as the head end. So I already know before I set up which way my head end's gonna be. It makes it easier when you're setting up. But so I can attach this without even opening this side. Attach this end, make sure all my tree straps are set up, and then open this end, grab the cinch buckle from this side, which is right here, and then just walk it across to the other tree. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, right here, just so you can see that process in action. Here we go, the stuff sack stays right on the top. And you'll notice that this has a ridge line on the outside. So there's no interior ridge line on this. This is a piece of shock cord. It hangs the net from the top. And then there are these attachment points with some small adjusters that allow you to tighten or loosen the tension on that bug net on either end. And the bug net just hangs down. So the zipper is nine feet. It's only on the one side, as you can see, but it goes nine feet along the hammock. And on the inside, there is a, a pouch sewn in. So you can store your phone, your, a wallet, book, a tablet, whatever you happen to have with you. You can throw that in there. And, and that's it. That is as complicated as this hammock gets. There's no need to adjust the shock cord itself. There's no additional um, rigging that needs to be done for that. It's attached to the hammock, so it's just immediately up. It's not structural, so you got to watch your, your hang angles when you put it up. You don't want to have it too tight or too loose. Um, but since it is 11 feet long, and I'll get in here and show you, uh, you get a very good diagonal lay, even though it's only 58 inches wide that 11 feet really helps with that. So on the inside, there's two uh, four inch zipper pulls so you can zip it up easier. You can just reach up and grab those.
on the inside here, you can see there's, there's plenty of room here to stretch out. Again, nice diagonal lay. Still plenty of headroom, plenty of foot room, and you've got the pocket here right next to you. The net, you can, like I said, you can adjust the tension on that net to, to pull a little bit tighter if you like. And also there's the option to add the corner tie outs, you know, so you can pull the side out a little bit. Um, I, I put four of them on. I don't have them on this one. It is an option. There is no additional charge at if some people like them, some people don't. I happen to not like them, so don't put them on. But if you want them, I'll add four tie outs so you can pull the, the hammock body out a little bit and it helps keep that net back if you're having a problem with it falling down in your face. Here's the zipper pulls. They're on the inside only on this hammock. So who is this hammock targeted towards? Um, I've been doing hammock mount outdoors for five years and in the last eight months or so, I've seen an influx of what I call knockoff hammocks. Um, basically the ones that you'll find on sites like Amazon um, that are your standard uh, panel hammock design. They're all made by basically the same company. They are, they seem like you're getting a really good deal. They're, they're very inexpensive, I guess. But um, I was offered the same deal that a lot of those companies um, were given to sell those hammocks. I could have done that. I could have gone the easy route and been selling you guys cheap panel hammocks um, for the last five years. But knowing what it costs to have one of those made, in order for me to make a hammock at that price point, um, it would literally be this big. This would be the hammock. I wouldn't even be able to afford to put a ridge line on the bucket. That would be it. That would be what you get. That's about $5 worth of fabric. It's really hard for people just getting into hammocks or camping in general who want to get into you know stuff like this. And I, I, I get it. It's cottage industry is expensive. Um, when you can buy a hammock for, you know, $25 on, on Amazon, it's an expensive ask to say, Hey, buy my, you know, super nice hammock for $130. Um, so I wanted to offer something that was comparable to what you get but I, I need to keep the price down. So that's why I went with the 1.9 ounce fabric. It's the, the least expensive fabric that I can get. Um, the one side zipper keeps the price down. Um, the, the shock cord, instead of a fixed ridge line, keeps the cost down. Um, everything that I put into this helps keep the cost down. Even the fact that you'll notice there's no, no, um, no labels on the hammock body itself. There's just the one on the bag. It doesn't even have a proper name. It's just a basic camping hammock. It helps keep the cost down. Um, so I wanted to offer the, that cottage industry, handcrafted, well-manufactured, quality piece of gear for a price that wasn't going to scare people away. Um, I want to get people into, into hammock camping. I want to get people into believing in American companies again. Um, and I know that might seem like a small-minded thing, like, oh, well, you know, it's a global economy, and it is. But, you know, I, I try to buy American materials whenever I can, but it's not always possible. I, I'm not, you know, saying I, I won't buy non-American, but whenever possible, I do. Even if you're not going to buy from me, please go look at some of these other small businesses. Um, it's every little bit helps. You're getting a much better product, I guarantee you. Whatever you're getting for $25 or, you know, whatever you're getting for these, I, I guarantee you, whatever you're getting for these really insanely low prices um, from these, these knockoff hammocks, the quality is nowhere near what you're going to get from myself or any number of other um, cottage industry small manufacturers that are putting out gear like this. You're going to be much happier with the, the, the experience with the gear itself and with uh, how you enjoy it and how long it lasts. So this is my way of kind of fighting back. Uh, I can't sell you a hammock for $25. I can't sell you a camping hammock for 25 I just can't. There's no way for me to get materials 
that cheap to make a hammock that inexpensive. And honestly, if I could get material that cheap, I wouldn't sleep in it myself, much less ask someone else to. So yeah, everything on this is designed to keep the price down. Um, the weight, not so much. It weighs in at about 24 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier. So that's just the, the hammock body with the cinch buckles. That's not including the tree straps. So about, about 24 ounces. And, um, but that's not always that big of a concern. If you're looking to go ultralight, you already know you're spending more money. Ultralight fabrics have higher prices. So yeah, I mean, I just really want to get more people interested in buying well-made gear. So I, I know I'm not the only option out there. I wasn't the first option out there and I won't be the last, but like I said, even if, I know this is weird for somebody to say, but even if you're not gonna buy from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors, look at another cottage industry vendor and, and or another small manufacturer and seriously consider it. I know you, the, the deals seem too good to be true, but you know what they say about that. So I hope you guys like the, the basic camping hammock. Um, thanks for letting me uh, rant a little bit there at the end. Um, thank you to everybody. Thanks to everybody who's, who's looking at these and buying them. And uh, I've got a lot, a lot of other gear too. More videos coming. And um, hope to see you out on the trail.